call a mad cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shover. I'm standing up because my place is a mess. It's we've got Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and awesome drinks. I can't stand in. I've got cardboard. I've got glassware. I've got stuff stacked everywhere. So I'm gonna stand over here in this corner where there's a little space for me. Um, I want to do our trending to our, our CMC trends. What happened in November 2013 on the show? For those that can't catch every single episode and they want to you know, follow up and hit a few key target areas or see what was going on and see if there's something they want to go back and look at because I'm going to put links at the bottom for all these different videos I'm going to talk about right here um, and you can go search them up, click around. So this month, the final episode from Doug Peterson aired the beginning of the month. Uh, it was November 1st, I believe, or Sunday Night Shooters, whatever that was. So that this month we had a lot of people on the show. So between having Doug with the, the Angry Bomb episode where he decides to have a little uh, fireball whiskey masturbation, well, watch. Apparently you can let out, you can release the demon or something if you can keep it warm. Release the demon? Yeah. <laughs> From what I understand is there's a way to, to heat this up and you can get it to like light up. You breathe out more carbon dioxide. Uh, yeah, you're breathing. You're you're put. You're filling. I, isn't that too high? There's a lot of things that's going on here that you don't need to know about. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> then Doug's le Doug leaves. It was kind of a long episode. We said our goodbyes. He will be back in December, uh, after December 25th. So you'll see him again before the end of this year. So that's gonna be cool. Uh, we'll we gotta come up with something for that. It'll be the probably New Year's Eve um, roll up to see what we can get for cocktails for that week. Let's see. We had other guests. Spirit Cocktails. Peter Herrera shows up. We did. Um, we did a whole bunch of cocktails. I created the the Carmen Jolt recipe. We um, we did the Hogan's Atomic Leg Drop. Come in. And then he goes running at people like that. That's what you do if you're a wrestler. Then Jennifer makes an appearance. She's been people are like, whoa, that's what she looks like. I didn't even know. I've never seen her before. Really. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> what is going on? Somebody's probably just buying like one item <laughs> at a time. We have other episodes. If you look through the different playlists on our channel, you will find there's a co-host playlist that has all of the different hosts that have been in the show, and she's been in there usually around the holidays. So if you look around the December, November time frames, you usually find she'll make an appearance like she did this year. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shomer, and today we're going to be making the Coffee House Ninja. <laughs> I'm a ninja. <laughs> We tag team a three-person episode showdown, actually the whole week of episodes, with Ian and Curtis, and things just got kind of crazy. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails! I'm your host, Derek Silver, and this is getting really hot! <laughs> I have with me Ian Andrews and... And Mark Curtis McMillan. The Curd. The Curd. I can't see El Matador! You will only know me as the Curd! So you have like a face hole. I know, it's That's great, so isn't it? That's so nice. This That's is why he hot. picked the red one. You have a face hole! I, I told him you should have gotten the one with hair, but no. <laughs> By the end of that month, November, we have some great cocktails submitted by and created by or modified by Curtis uh, with complete cool history about Kiki. And then we did an entire like 40 minute episode on the history of gin. So you want to check that out. And Aww. that is Tangare. Man, you can maybe drink Tangare. Oh, drink Tangare. So Tangare. Yep. Thoughts? I actually like Tangare. Really? Yeah, It's. I find that it's a little bit easier in the did, did, London drag category than the rest of its family members. Did, did God install your brain backwards? Huh? <laughs> I mean, dude, this is not... No. You, no, really. Yeah. You made me do this? Yep. Oh! It's Christmas time! Yay! Other notables may include, let's see, best drink of the month. I'm going to put that category as a submission that came in called Jen's Hot Chocolate Butterscotch. Me and Ian tasted that. Jennifer liked it. Need some whipped cream and fat. Mm. Fat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so tasty. What a great it's got a way to stop the whip. Alcohol like it, it's like a, it's like end. an alcohol coffee only with hot chocolate. I like the butterscotch though. I like the and the cool swan goes in there really well too. It's, I think it it that butterscotch is great in there. It's drawing me in. Mm. We got a new blender. That's news. Ready? Yep. Oh yeah! I attack 
Jen with bitters. Oh, we're gonna use some tiki bitters. You wanna try these? Nope. I'm not Doug. Open! Nah. <laughs> There's some more news. Uh, and we lit stuff on fire! No. Oh, there it is. No, you guys have the yeah, thing to light during Halloween. You lit your mint leaves on fire. Dude, yeah, I mean, I wrote, I, I, yeah. This is the first time that we've actually got something to light. No, no we, I lit something no, last week. No, we drink this as a straw, right? No. Yeah, you, you drink the fire. You may yeah. not want to drink the fire, because then it, this will be on YouTube, because some guy, guy lit his, his, his mustache okay. chain Okay, let's get there. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know if you could do that. Isn't that hot? He did it. It's so in now we know. tongue yet? It's he burned his throat, still so going. Not talking. No, I'm good. <laughs> For reviews, let's see. We've got the Blue Chair Bay Coconut Rum. That, that was pretty entertaining and interesting and in a different take on coconut rum because it seems to be a little bit more natural, even a little cloudiness to it. I really enjoyed it, and I'm sure you're going to see it more on the show. Uh, oh, we get, did a Jose Cuervo, uh, what do you call it, like a, a redemption with Jose Cuervo Tradicional, 100% agave. If you type in Google... And you guys could try this at home. Jose Cuervo is garbage. You're gonna find my video in my blog. Which I wish was out before I wound up getting there. So. <laughs> Just don't buy this. Yeah. If you can find this, do it. Because I think it, it is, it's a worthy $20 bottle. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Crucian Distillers Collection. We did three, me and Ian reviewed three Crucian Distiller Collections. Dark, Light, and uh, some other one. Uh, oh, Single Barrel. Best review by far this month so far, since the month's over, I guess that will be it, was Ivana Bitch's Naughty Nog. Those 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 sugar cookies with the little mm. green sprinkles on them for yeah, Christmas. Yeah, 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 sugar cookies. <laughs> That's exactly what that smells like! It smells like sugar cookies with green sprinkles! It smells like sugar cookies and it tastes like eggnog. This is the big truck. Nope. <laughs> Best drink ever! <laughs> I just talked in Elvish. And not like... You know, Tolkien Elvish, I talk like the little Christmas elves. We also took a look at Galliano Ristretto uh, and Jersey's Toxic Waste, both of which were brought over by Peter when he had come by, so we get to review those. And we did the, the first hardware review in a while, I don't know if we've ever done one, where we, we reviewed the football shaker. Actually, that was me, alone, reviewing the football shaker. These are friggin' cold. My hand is, like, you actually get the cramp. So that kind of lines up a lot of the cool things that happened this week, or this whole month that just went by. We are a little late because of the whole holiday thing, and and just I couldn't even get to my computer. It was hard to edit this. That and I've been working a lot, so I've been juggling everything, uh, real life and business here and all that stuff. So it definitely has been a stressful month for December. I'm hoping to take a couple days off and maybe chill out, leave some comments, maybe post some reviews up. Uh, let's see, what else do we have for reviews? It looks like I have a Jose, no, not Jose, uh, Don Julio, I think it's 1942, that I should take a look at, and a couple other products that are floating around that I still have to review. Um, I probably need to buy a new brandy. Maybe we need to do some brandy and eggnog holiday recipes this month. So, for December, I envision, although I don't have them planned out yet, a few more holiday recipes. I don't want to get too crazy on the holiday. I like to keep things... Uh, kind of dynamic because not everybody celebrates holidays at this time of year. Say Australia, a little warm. Maybe you need an umbrella in your eggnog. Uh, so I want to kind of mix it up but still keep that holiday appeal. Don't know who we're going to have for guests. I know it will be Doug. Maybe Curtis will join us. I know Ian will be around. So stay tuned for that. That is all. All right, guys. We're teaching you how to drink. Loch Ness Monster, man. Goddamn Loch Ness Monster. I'm about about tree fit. I'm about tree fit and drink. Mm -hmm. I heard a cute nope. little Girl Scout get asking for so Girl Scout cookies to me. I said, how much is that box of Girl Scout cookies? Girl Scout looked at me, she said, about three fitting. For about this time, I noticed that Girl Scout's about eight stories tall and green skinned and monster from the abyss. Yeah, I'll show. <laughs> we should try this, it's really good. I think I have sclerosis. All right. Is that even a thing? Yep. It affects your. You have a drinking show, you should know what sclerosis <laughs> oh, is. Scler <laughs> I meant the one with the bending in the back. Multiple of them. Multiple sclerosis. That's not... <laughs> no, that's not it either, is it? What is it? It's like that backbending thing. Sclerosis. Scoliosis. Scoliosis. <laughs>